Hold up. <laughs>
I do have to edit this video so it can get approved and posted. So I'm going to be doing that today. Um, I probably am going to go grocery shopping a little bit later because when my husband comes home, he has to quarantine. So I want to make sure I did buy him some snacks, but knowing that we don't have eggs and stuff, I do have to go back out. And it's not that I forgot to buy eggs. It's wherever I went grocery shopping the other day, I totally forgot to buy eggs. And then when I went to Target yesterday, they are renovating. My local one is renovating, so they didn't have much um, stuff. But I also have to fix this. I'm not flipping you the bird, but I do have to fix my middle finger um and then i have to repaint this nail because i was picking at it like a crazy person so i'm going to try to do that today as well but today definitely got to edit and put get this video approved i'm trying to get back with the program man my husband leaving really threw me but yeah so i will catch up with you guys in a little bit um editing time starts now Happy Monday. So I am going to share with you guys. My husband is back from Japan. So I got some Japanese omiyage, which is gifts. First of all, I'm going to get this out of the way. I still did not repair this finger. So sorry. And Millie is... Millie. She's here. So if you see her um, shaking the camera... You just know that's her or barking and I apologize because if I lean see if I lean in the sun hits me so I have to lean back a little bit but um also don't mind I just did eyebrows and lip gloss so face not looking that perfect but I'm going to share with you guys the presents that we had got and snacks so the first thing here is always per recommendation this is the ichiran ramen instant noodle pack so there's two different kinds so there is the kind that comes with these skinny noodles here and there's the kind that comes with the regular ramen noodles i am more of a fan of the ramen noodles um but these noodles are great too because these are similar to the ones they serve at the ramen shops in ichiran in japan which i miss so if you see this whether it be in an Asian market or if you get it from Japan. Yes. I guess we're going to start with treats because um, I'm just grabbing whatever is closest to me. So this time around when it came to treats, I wanted to make sure that... Um, it's really rummaging. <laughs> I want to make sure that we just got treats that we would love because there are so many times where we just went crazy with treats that none of them ended up getting getting none of them didn't end up getting eaten so it was a waste so I want to make sure that we didn't go crazy with the treats and that we only got stuff that we definitely love so one of our favorite chips is these cheese curls here these are fantastic if you like a more mild more savory cheese puff this is it it's so good and they're actually kind of hard to find in japan nowadays like they don't have them everywhere so they're not really easy to come across anymore one of my favorite chips are these kalbi um pizza chips these are my favorite to eat with their egg salad sandwiches mind you i feel like i had perfected the egg salad sandwich recently so i cannot wait to have it with this i've never had this before but i tried it recently so it is a wheat cracker kit kat and um we love trying Kit Kats because Kit Kats in Japan are crazy. They have all these flavors. And uh, my husband said when he went, especially to Don Quixote, which has tons of Kit Kat flavors, he said that this is probably the only one we've never tried. So it is so interesting. I tried it already. And 
and it uh, it looks just like in this little thing. So it's really a wheat cracker that is crushed, blended in with maybe some kind of like white chocolate with the wafer. I think it's phenomenal. I think it tastes amazing. Another home run for a Kit Kat. Uh, this you can find in Hawaii. I think my husband just likes this. It's the chocolate strawberry. So it's just a just a regular chocolate with strawberry filling in it. This is always a good one. You can find them pretty locally, I feel like. But um, because it's in J from Japan, it is much more fresh. He went kind of crazy with these Mento Duos. So this is like a grape soda. Um, he even got these fettuccine, almost kind of like a Sour Patch Kid or Sour Punch, and he has gotten it in the grape cola and soda. Yeah, it's the soda. I think this is more for him. I don't really eat these kinds. I'll try them, but I really don't eat them. He got orange high chews, frisks. Frisks are just like a mint. Um, great mentos. He got, ooh, mini high chews. I might just put this in my bag and try this out. And Millie's having a smelling fest here. More frisks. I like the lemon ones. I think the lemon ones is one of my favorites. Another high chew lemon. Um, if you ever see a high chew that is a persimmon, flavor that's great i chew minis in a bag more purple grape frisks and one more snack which is another fettuccine style gummy which is going to be in this um peach flavor actually i'm gonna try one because i'm craving something a little sweet we're gonna try this grape one here millie's like ooh, no baby you can't have this so it looks like so. So yeah, I guess it does look like a fettuccine. Um, Millie, stop shaking the camera. They're sweet and sour. I like it. It's good. So one of the first items that I got is from Stussy here. And... Da, da, da. So we got a Stussy Porter. It is just like one of those mini cases. You guys know how I've been somewhat obsessed with small um, crossbody styles. So this has two zippers, one in the front, one in the back. In the back it has like a little Velcro that you could probably put on another bag or like your belt. And it also has um, this... It also has this in the back as well. I don't even know what this is called right now. This clasp in the back. And also lots of different compartments that you can use. So this part even unbuckles so you can try to clasp it on to as many different things as possible. And of course, Millie would lie down in between the stool that's holding this camera and me. So that's why you keep now like her whole fur is on one side. But the material on this is kind of crazy. It's not really a nylon. So it is a cloth fabric that's almost kind of like a windbreaker material. So it does say Stussy there and then it has the Porter collab. Unfortunately, during this visit, he hasn't, um, he didn't have the chance to go to a Porter store. It was like a three hour train ride and like a $500 round trip ticket. So he did not go. But it does come with a crossbody strap, which is really thin. The inside is lined with gray. And then next on next on the omiyages. Oh of course, he was able to find me a Rila Kuma store. And you guys know we love Rila Kuma on this channel. So he got me this toe tier, which Rila Kuma has kind of like this towel 
texture. Um, I There was, of course, the normal canvas color, um, which is that light beige and gray, and I told him to pick, and I knew he was going to pick gray because I guess canvas tote is just so predictable, that color. Um, so he got me, like, if you've seen some of my videos, you notice that, Melly, oh my goodness, you are so Snoopy. I call you Snoopy. We have these uh, Rila Kuma things hanging from our doors. So he got another one for me. I'm not going to open it for you, but I'll show you guys a picture. So it's basically the... Sh um So it looks like this. So different Rilakkuma stores in different prefectures of Japan, they do have their own special and um, special little like items there. So he was at Hiroshima. So he got this one for me. And then they had these really cute Lucky Cat Rilakkumas. Oh, they're so cute. They look like actual like Lucky Cats. And these ones are a uh, little um, weighted. Um, because they want, I guess, for them to sit properly, they weighted it on the bottom. So I'm going to open one for you guys and show you. But how cute is this lucky cat? And the bell actually rings and that's me. Oh, she's running away. But it's weighted so it's able to sit. So he got the Rila Kuma and the girl version, which is the Ko Rila Kuma. Um... He got me a decorative rice paddle. I just wanted a regular one, which he got for, you know, just to use um, for obviously scooping rice. So this one is a special one as well. Um, I don't know if you can see it. But then this one is decorative, and I was like, oh, maybe I'll use this to spank Millie's butt. Um, and then I just got some random stickers. Um... So we got some Demon Slayer stickers here. If you're a Demon Slayer fan, we got that. He also got me, um, he went to the Pokemon store and he got Yamper, of course, because Yamper is a Corgi. He got a Bell keychain and this one as well. And I asked him to find these, oh, another sticker of the Demon Slayer gal. I also had him find these Amiibo packs. Um, which is for Animal Crossing, so these characters can move into your village. Um, so he got me two packs. They're like $10, and then there's just like random villagers on there. Um, I got a good one out of the two packs. And then for this one here is from Tokyo Hand. If you're ever in Japan, Tokyo Hand has a lot of great like stationary things, house things. Um, they also have B-side label stickers that I've talked about on my channel before. So I got some from My Hero Academia and the It's a Ditto and a Capsule Corp. And that's all that was in the Rila Kuma bag. And then the last item that I got is from Babe. Um, super excited about these Babe items because they're limited. Uh, of course they gave some stickers, some camouflage stickers. And um, they changed your packaging because their packaging never looked like this before. And it has a cool vape tag on here, which is kind of neat because it actually feels like something that would be on a piece of clothing or a bag. So the first thing that I got is this vape Pokemon shirt. So they did a collaboration with Pokemon and Baby Milo. So guys, look at this. How cute is this print? It has like the Bape version of Pikachu on it wearing like a Pikachu hoodie which is reminiscent to the shark hoodie. And this one has the starter, the starter Pokemon on it. So Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle. And then my absolute favorite one because this is my favorite Pokemon is going to be a Pikachu with the Pikachu sharp Pikachu hoodie. So cute. And guys, that is my haul from my Japanese Omiyage haul. We got some whiskey as well, but I think you guys would be interested in that. If you guys are, I have a little like snippet here. But that's all for my Japan haul. We're gonna go do some 
errand shopping and take Millie for a walk now.